And I just spoke to her and I told her that I was with her and to try to stay with us and um, she didn't make it. A fatal crash on a busy road has neighbors and businesses asking for changes. A 75 year old Midland woman lost her life in the crash on Highway 1788 near 191 in Midland. Midland police say Claudine Clark was killed after an SUV traveling in the opposite side of the road could not stop in time for a vehicle ahead, which was making a left turn. That SUV swerved to the right, then overcorrected, hitting Clark's vehicle nearly head on. Clark was pronounced dead on the scene. The other driver was sent to the hospital, but will be OK. Neighboring businesses say this is now the fourth fatal crash recently on 1788. Eyewitnesses say something needs to be done. CBS 7's Matt Riss joins us now live from 1788, where neighbors are concerned. Matt, what do they want to change? Jay, even at this late hour, we've seen a steady flow of 18 wheeler traffic here at FM 1788. Businesses or people who live nearby are asking for many changes, including lower speeds and more turn lanes. Truck after truck roll down a busy FM 1788. There's businesses out here. There's not a turning lane out here. You know, you've got to pay attention to what other people are doing, not just yourself. Bonnie saw today's crash firsthand. She was with 75 year old Claudine Clark in the last moments of her life. The lady that was driving the Lincoln uh, was trapped in her vehicle and she was in really bad shape. And I just spoke to her and I told her that I was with her and to try to stay with us and um, she didn't make it. Just steps away from the crash, one business is so worried they put up signs warning their drivers of the dangerous road. That traffic's terrible. We've had three die in this parking lot in the last six months. Down here at Butch's here in our parking lot there and right there. We're very concerned about this. It's a terrible place. You can't hardly pull in or pull out of here. They're asking for change. Speed limit, turn lane, that would help out. Now, TxDOT tells me speed limits were actually lowered in parts of FM 1788 over the last couple of years. They have no plans right now to do so again. And as far as a stoplight, I'm told a traffic study evaluation at the intersection where folks turn into the Midland International Airport was recently studied and there was not enough traffic to merit a stoplight. We'll continue to track this story online and in our newscast. For now, live in Midland, I'm Matt Rist, CBS 7 News. Back to you.